I become different people, I become different characters depending on what I'm wearing at the time and how I feel and what mood I'm in. And am I, am I cutting off the real me? Well of course I'm cutting off the real me. Uh, because the real me is about four or five and um, doesn't know how to catch a taxi and, or a bus crossing the road at pedestrian crossings and catching buses and things like that so you know you think that's weird because you think you know you look at me you think oh okay you're an adult you should know how to cross the road <laughs> and yet I don't really uh, feel safe unless I'm using a pedestrian crossing you know otherwise it seems weird and I like to I like to have everything clear for example catching the bus and that you know I need to know exactly where the bus is going so I need to get a map which is easy to do now anyway and just figure out but what if I get off at the wrong bus stop what if I push the button at the wrong place you know things like that that, it, that you learn as a kid you learn you make a mistake and you move on but it's back to the thing again you know if I do push the button too early is the bus driver going to kick me off the bus because as a kid you know they're like all right who pushed the button get the hell off my bus you know and so there's still that mentality in me even though my body is adult you know my brain is still responding to to adults as, as though they have authority over everything that i do and say the fourth label that i've created and financed gid gender identity disorder if you were made to dress up as a ritual as a part of your sexual abuse from the age of four until you become an adult don't forget that once you reach a certain age you've got to stop playing dress up you've got to stop acting you've got to ground yourself and become serious you can't cross gender boundaries society doesn't like it they don't like you playing dress up anymore you're older now you're growing up stop doing it this is only eight hundred dollars and it's gold plated and it comes with a free remote buy it now our operators are standing by what i'm defining is am i some sort of transsexual transgender cross-dressing drag queen gender illusionist or whatever the only reason i have something in common with those types of people is that my characters cross what you call your gender boundaries and some of my characters are male and some of them are female so whether they're multiple personalities well they are multiple personalities but I choose which one I'm gonna be depending on how I feel when I wake up in the morning as to which one I want to be and I don't I can't say that I'm in control of them all because I could be dressed like a guy and be Nicola, you know. It depends on what mood I'm in, how much energy I have, all sorts of things. Number five, grandiosity. The most grandiose label you can ever imagine. It's gold plated, it's got ruby shaded lettering. This is not five hundred dollars this is not five thousand dollars this is five hundred thousand dollars buy it now sell your ferrari your porsche whatever you've got sell it and buy this you'll be amazed at what this can do you'll be able to hold your head up high in public you'll be able to walk into any shop and say i'll have two of those don't live on planet earth live in a dream world it's all yours you made it up yourself you are the rule maker. Grandiosity is the one he wants me to talk about most of all. With this person that you're seeing in the film, he um, has this thing that came with the abuse. And it's very hard to explain, but I'll try and give you an understanding. Um, he went to see Star Wars when he was seven, 1977, and um, at the same time he was going to, to Bible class, to, to Sunday school, and what he did then was he merged the two worlds. He merged 
Star Wars with the Old and New Testament. Um, and he spent the next fair few years, 20 years after that, almost 20 years, till about 1994, kind of building the Bible with combining it with Star Trek and Star Wars and Ted Hughes, you know, the Iron Man and Area 51, Fahrenheit 451 is, I think it was, science fiction novels, Dungeons and Dragons and all sorts and you just, what he did was he combined the whole lot, rock music with heavy metal music and Skid Row and ACDC and all that sort of stuff. And um, really built a safety zone, I would call it. This, this world he created in his head, where everything's connected. And we're talking about America connected with somebody from the Middle East connected with somebody from the 15th century connected with somebody in the future whatever, you know, time and place and that's all connected in this fantasy world he's got. And he's having a hard time breaking out of it because it took a long time to build and it's going to take a long time to dismantle. And I think he's pushing himself. I think he's just being too hard on himself at the moment. And you can't expect someone to build something for 15 years and then pull it apart in one day. I mean, it's just expecting too much, and it's going to take a year to dismantle the world he's created. And that world isn't real. And unfortunately, the world that he is discovering, what we call reality, isn't anything like his fantasy world. He can't really cope well with the difference between the two, because the books say one thing, and people live in a totally different way. Okay, and on to the last one, number five, the survivor label. Wear this one with pride. Six hundred dollars and it's yours today. What more can you possibly want? I think survivor is the label that fits the best. Anybody that survived anything as a survivor, whether it's an earthquake or a flood or airplane crash, whatever, if you're, if you're still standing after some misguided youth has been having its way sexually since you were the age of four and you're still alive now and just, you can talk into a camera about stuff that happened to you as a child, then you're a survivor. And um, I'm going to move on in leaps and bounds now as I, as I come to my self-realisation as to who I am, who I really am. Thank you for watching the show and we'll be back next week with our latest deals. Stay tuned.